Hello everyone I am Vijay Gadwe and welcome to my YouTube channel In this video we will understand how to pay the Azure cloud bill online So here I am on the Azure portal go to subscriptions or you can search here subscriptions My account is pay as you go this is the subscription ID my role is account admin this is the current cost we are able to see the current cost as zero because i haven't used this account in this month now click on the pay as you go scroll down latest billed amount here it is showing the amount now i have to pay this amount your billing account has passed due balance for the subscriptions paid this is my credit card number it is saying that Please settle the balance now to avoid service disruption. Now click on Pay Now button. Ignore this message. Here it is showing outstanding balance, subtotal, taxed, and total outstanding balance. Now click on Select Payment Method. I'll select here UPI Oblique Net Banking. Click on Next. from here you can change the method as well you can add new payment method as well by clicking on this here you can add credit or debit card or you can go with the upi or net banking i'll go with the net banking next click on pay do not close this window until your payment is complete now scroll down continue with upi or net banking it will open another tab here you can select your bank and go ahead to make the payment i'll select the qr code from here bhim upi make payment request is being processed here you have to enter your upi id and the request will be sent to that upi id i'll go with the qr code click here to scan Now I'll make the payment using UPI app. Payment is successful. Paying outstanding balance. You can see the message here. This might take few minutes. From my side payment is done and payment is successful. Now I'll refresh the page here. Your payment is successful. So this is how you can pay the Azure Cloud bill using the online method. I hope you understood this. If this video helped you in any manner, then please do subscribe my YouTube channel. Here I am continuously sharing the content related to data engineering, data bricks and Azure Cloud.